22 body language signals, and what they say about a person. Humans have such interesting ways to connect with one another. We can either do it through our words or express our emotions and thoughts just through our actions. The latter we know as body language or nonverbal communication. These can be facial expressions, body movements, posture, eye contact, hand gestures, tone, and volume of voice, and other micro expressions that hold specific meaning that verbal communication cannot relay. Reading someone's body language can reveal to you a lot about what they do not say out loud. Most of the time, this can tell you their innermost intentions, too. If you want to become skilled at interpreting nonverbal signals, watch this video until the end. Bright Light presents to you 22 body language signals and what they say about a person. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of our new uploads. Without further delay, let's get right back to the video. Our body language can be divided into two, positive and negative body language. The positive ones refer to those that can help you get the trust of people more. These are the actions we do to either pass a job interview, win an argument, or even hear a yes from the person we're asking out. On the other hand, negative body language are those that can keep you from what you intend to have or even start conflicts. If we don't know how to regulate these, it can end up affecting our friendships, work, and even our personal lives. Before we give you the 22 examples of nonverbal communication and what they mean, it is important to have an understanding that we still need to be very careful in interpreting the nonverbal cues of other people. You may see the way your friend crosses their arms in a negative light, even though they do not intend to offend you at all. Cultural differences can affect our nonverbal cues, so it's extra challenging to interpret. The following body language we will show are some of the most common ones. Here are they. Number one, arms crossed across the chest. One of the most noticeable nonverbal communication is coming from the actions your arms and legs can give. They can be used either for positive and negative body language too. If you see someone sitting or standing with their arms crossed across their chest, this might mean they are acting defensive. In most cases, it can also signal that the person is insecure, annoyed, closed off, angry, or stubborn. Seeing this nonverbal cue from a person you're having a conversation with can also mean that they're closed off, or if it appears mid-conversation, they might have started disengaging already. However, you should also take note of the context of when they did it. If they have been doing it for a long time and you notice that the place is quite cold, it might have no hidden meanings. They might be doing it just because it's cold. Some people also have the habit of doing this when they are tired, thinking, or waiting for something. Number two, smile. Just like tears, our smiles can be because of many things. Depending on the context, it can mean that a person is happy, shy, in love, or even smiling just to insult you. If you see someone smiling after you have done something for them, there's a big possibility that they're smiling because they're happy or thankful. But if you see someone smile while you are having an argument with each other, this can be an ironic smile or a smile meant to annoy you more. We also have something called the Duchenne smile, where the corners of someone's mouth are pulled up and their eyes are squeezed. This is seen as a more genuine smile compared to just showing your teeth when smiling. There are also people who are good at expressing their emotions through their eyes to the point that their eyes seem to be smiling too. This is often associated with being friendly, approachable, and generally a nice personality. Number three, tapping your fingers. People who tap their fingers come out as agitated and even anxious, especially when they do it in quiet places or test rooms. This is also known as the nonverbal cues that can irritate people so much because of the noise that it makes. Number four, tilting your head to one side. Tilting your head to one side typically indicates that you are paying close attention and have keen interest in learning what is being said. If someone does this while you talk, no matter what the topic may be, it can mean that they are concentrating on what you're saying. Number five, steepling your fingers. People can tell you have power and control when you hold your palms apart and your fingertips close together. This gesture is frequently used by bosses and politicians to demonstrate control. Number six, crossing your legs. 
just like what was said in the first nonverbal cue, the mere crossing of one's legs can tell you a lot about them at that time. The meaning depends on how they cross their legs. If they cross it at the ankle, this may mean that they are trying to hide something. On the other hand, if they cross at the knee and at the same time point their knees away from you, it may be that they are uncomfortable with you around them. The conversation or interaction is a neutral state if their feet are planted firmly on the floor. If you want to appear powerful and domineering, you can do the figure four position. To do this, you should stretch your arm and legs forward and then cross one ankle up over your knee with your legs crossed high and your pelvic region open. With crossed legs in this position, your body makes the shape of the number four. Since your arms and legs in this position are open and relaxed, it sends other people a signal that you are approachable and confident. Number seven, pulling your ear. You can tell that someone is attempting to make a decision, but just could not do it yet when you see them tug on their ear. This nonverbal cue often comes across as being unsure or uncommitted. Number eight, putting your head in your hands. If someone puts their head in their hands, it can indicate that they are bored and can't bear to keep their head up any longer. It may also imply that the person you're talking to is ashamed or upset to the point where they no longer want to show their face. Number nine, standing up straight. A confident person stands tall and has good posture. Number 10, gesturing with your hands open and palms up. You can estimate someone's trustworthiness by just looking at what they do with their hands during conversations and interactions. Most of the time, people who are trustworthy and have nothing to hide have their palms up or open when making gestures. Number 11, eye contact. Eye contact is important in making people feel that you're paying attention to the conversation. If a person makes eye contact with you, it most probably means that they are comfortable with you. In a series of studies, they have also found out that an eye contact of about 3.2 seconds at a time is just right if you're talking with a stranger. The deeper your relationship becomes, the more you don't bother with how long they look you in the eye. Number 12, looking down. When someone keeps looking at the floor or the ground, even if nothing important is really there, it can signify that they feel inferior or lack confidence at that moment. In some cases, it can also mean that they feel shy about something. If you struggle with maintaining eye contact, try looking to the side instead. It is better than looking down while talking to someone. Number 13, rubbing your hands together. Rubbing hands together vigorously can tell you that a person is very excited about something. If they do this while talking to you about a certain project, this is your green flag that they are as excited as you too. Number 14, twisting your hair. Twisting one's hair is a common flirtatious gesture used in movies and television shows. If they twist their hair while looking up at you through their lashes, you might interpret it as what they're trying to say. But if you're in a job interview, fidgeting with your hair will only make you appear uneasy and apprehensive. Number 15, micro expressions. Micro expressions, which last for just about a half second, are extremely fleeting facial movements. You experience them when you're attempting to suppress your feelings. It usually signifies that someone is trying to keep something from you when you see them make a micro expression. To be successful in any form of encounter, you must learn to recognize them. Number 16, walking briskly. Walking briskly with a purpose often demonstrates self-confidence. You can easily notice how confident someone looks if they walk briskly, whether you know where they are going or not. Number 17, placing your hand on your cheek. Your expression of thought and careful consideration of the information you are hearing can be seen when you touch your cheek with your hand. When someone engages in this behavior while you are conversing with them, you can typically infer that they are paying attention to what you are saying and taking your point of view seriously. Number 18, rubbing your eye. Usually, when you touch your eye, you're expressing doubt or disbelief in what you're hearing. You might find it helpful to pause while speaking if someone is scratching their eye so you can get their opinion and clear up any confusion. Number 19, rubbing or touching your nose. You come off as dishonest if you rub or touch your nose with your index finger. Your objectives won't be met if you do it in a dialogue that calls for candor and openness. 
And if you notice someone else scratching their nose, that's a good sign that you shouldn't take everything they say at face value. Number 20. Standing with your hands clasped behind your back. People may interpret your hands clasped behind your back in a certain position as expressing wrath, trepidation, or irritation. Although it may appear to be a pleasant, relaxed stance, it might really make people feel uneasy and apprehensive of you. Number 21. Pinching the bridge of your nose. You appear to be giving the dialogue a poor appraisal when you squeeze the bridge of your nose and close your eyes. If someone strikes this position with you, you might need to change how you go about getting their support for your objective. Number 22. Standing with your hands on your hips. It may indicate that the person is upset in particular situations and may act violently. Others may see it as merely expressing their enthusiasm and readiness to take action. The way they use personal space may affect how someone interprets what they mean by this viewpoint. That ends our video on 22 body language signals and what they say about a person. We hope you've learned a thing or two. If you did, please like this video and leave a comment on the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to us and click the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we post new videos. Until next time, bye!